Hi guys, welcome back to We Should Talk, a pop culture interview series from In the Know. I'm your host, Gibson Johns, and this week on the podcast, we have Kyle Cook and Amanda Batula from Winter House. Also from Summer House, obviously, but Winter House is upon us, finally. I think when all when Bravo fans found out about the show happening, it's Summer House people, it's Southern Charm people, it's also some new people all getting together and staying at a house in Vermont. People went wild, and I think, you know, judging by some of the social media posts and the Dumois blind items and some of the reports that came out from the filming, there's a lot to be excited about and a lot's going to happen in this six-episode run. So um, I was excited to, to chat with Kyle and Amanda about it. We kicked things off by talking a lot about their wedding, and which was kind of one of the Bravo moments and events of the year. It looked gorgeous. They looked so happy. A lot of people were there. And, um, you know, it was fun to talk to them about that. But also we got into Winter House, comparing it to Summer House and sort of the different energies there and who's not around, who is around. Um, you know, there was a lot to talk about. So um, I think it's always fun to interview Kyle and Amanda together because they really play off of each other really nicely. And um, yeah, they just seemed in a really great place because of their wedding and then just everything that they've gone through this year. Anyway, Keep listening for my interview with Kyle Cook and Amanda Batula from Summer House and Winter House. Tune in to Winter House Wednesdays at 9 p.m. on Bravo for the next six weeks. And please rate, review, and subscribe to We Should Talk on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, so we're here with Kyle Cook and Amanda Batula, newlywed stars of Winter House and Summer House. How are you guys? I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be talking to you guys. I'm Thank too you. To you. How you been? I mean, I'm good. I'm good. I feel, you know, I, we have to talk about the big day first because I, we, Amanda, you said it came up pretty quickly, but it's all Kyle. You said it's been a journey and it, I feel like it both are true. Um, you know, just talk to me about talking about that day. It looked like it was, you guys looked so happy on that day and then everyone looked like they had the best time. And as I would expect that from your wedding, that everyone have a great time. Talk to me about how it went because it looked perfect. Yeah. I mean, I think the big thing for us was that we wanted to throw an awesome party, which is why we didn't elope. We didn't want to do something smaller because we yeah. wanted to have like a really fun event. And we absolutely pulled that off. We had so many friends and family telling us that it was the best wedding that they've ever been to and not because, you know, that's what you say to everyone, but they, they actually felt that way. And, um, and I think it was just the energy of the people around us that made it so freaking awesome. Yeah. We had people from all walks of life, um, you know, just kind of there celebrating with us. And I think for me, just the, you know, when it meets and exceeds expectations, when you think about all the the, the planning that, that goes into something like this. Yeah. You know, and you also hear that, you know, it flies by in the blink of an eye and, you know, but, and that's true, but it was just so much fun and it was so great to, to bring everyone together. Cause let's be honest, you know, there hasn't, there haven't been that many opportunities to do that. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was worth the wait. <laughs> yeah. And, and I, I, I hope that doesn't sound weird. I also love that it kind of felt like it was everywhere. Like it, like there was so much coverage of the wedding. There was a lot of people that really cared about this wedding. And to me, that just, I, that made me really happy to see, because it seemed like everyone was really invested in, you know, this day finally coming. Cause I think we've all been along for your, in, with your relationship and this journey that you guys have been on. So did you feel that? Did you feel like there was just sort of like this, like new level of interest in, in, in this big wedding for you guys? Well, it, it almost started out the opposite. So like we had, you know, conversations with a couple of publicists and um, just because of Delta and, 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 and everything that was going on, there were actually some publications that were like, we're not actually covering weddings. Interesting. So that's how it started, but we took measures to make sure it was safe. Mm -hmm. um, we did film it, you know, so obviously, you know, it's not like, you know, NBC universe is going to take any risks, you know, on the COVID side. So, um, you know, once we got through that, that was like the reward at the end of the tunnel where, you know, the, the, the people's sentiment around us finally tying the knot mm -hmm. was incredibly encouraging, supporting and, and positive. Sorry yeah, about that. It was awesome to just, it was awesome to see how excited people were because it has felt like it's been dragged out for so long and every summer and every time we're with people, everyone's asking questions and we're doing little things. We're talking about the wedding and it just, 
got to the point where I felt like it was old news and I just wanted to do it and get married and like have fun with our friends and family. And then to see everyone and, you know, Instagram and social media is a scary place sometimes. And there's can be a lot of negativity, but it was so nice to see just how supportive everyone was, um, when we did finally share that we had gotten married and there is little to no negativity and everyone's just really excited good happy for us which just feels especially really after nice. like especially after the season five like like pretend wedding where you know, <laughs> people are like oh my god just getting married already right totally <laughs> it was like <laughs> but you, you guys you guys did what you could do and i think you i think it was important for you guys to wait in terms of what was going on in the world so um you know, I think it's, it sounds like, it sounds like it happened the way it, w- it should have happened. You know what I mean? And that's what, that's what it really feels like. Um, yeah. could, can you tell, but so you said it was filmed. Is that for the show? Is that for a special? Do we know? Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know how much I'm supposed to be saying, but I mean, okay. I, I think I'd like to be able to tease that we did cover it as, you know, as part of summer house. And mm-hmm. I feel like I've said this, you know, before that, so many the audience has seen our entire journey of our relationship and the ups and downs and has essentially seen us grow as a couple Mm -hmm. so and individuals to to not share that felt like we were withholding you know the the reward (laughs) you know at the end of like yeah going we had to see it with us yeah yeah so Mm -hmm. it's definitely something we wanted to share yeah so you know that's that's going to be kind of, uh, you know, as we kind of wind up summer house season six, you know, you, you people will be able to kind of watch us on our little planning journey, if you will, uh-huh. which is always super fun. Mm, um, I'm sure. <laughs> but then we end with a bang. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's awesome. Um, all right. So we're obviously here to talk about winter house. And I feel like at this point, you guys, it's like, okay, summer house, summer house films, winter house airs, summer house airs, winter house films. It's it, you're, you're in a full calendar of, of reality shows right now, which I mean, it, it, you have to be having fun. Clearly. <laughs> it's um, fun is certainly one word. It, it is. <laughs> it's a lot, right? Like we, yeah. we're running lover boy, you know, full time. Um, you know, that's, you know, everything else, including these shows are, are icing on the cake and, you know, we feel very, very lucky that summer house has lasted as long as it has. And then it kind of this opportunity to, 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 to film, I guess you could call it a spinoff, but mm-hmm. you know, it really became its own show because the concept's a little different. Um, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. I'm sure, I'm sure it is. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it is. And I mean, like, and, and the group that you guys are with, so it's, it's you guys, it's Lindsay, it's Paige, Sierra, Luke, and then you have Austin and Craig from Southern Charm. You have four new people. I think that's everyone, but th- that that's a rowdy crew. I mean, like that that is yeah. that you're there for what seventeen days together. Like it's there's no escaping, you know. <laughs> no downtime and was, no escaping. Yeah, there was no escaping. And even when you thought you were gonna have downtime, someone opened up a bottle of red wine, and you right. just were starting all over again. Mm-hmm. So, what for you guys, in your words, is the biggest? difference between winter house and summer house like you know, obviously i think fans i watched the first episode fans of summer house are going to love this but what's what for you differentiates the two other than the fact that there's snow on the ground um i think with summer house you see a lot more into our personal lives also it's you know mm-hmm. that work hard play hard you see us for the like in previous seasons or in previous summers uh, you've seen us in the city you know, working, it hasn't just been out partying. Winter right. house is straight party, straight <laughs> party the whole time. Yeah. There was just activities and drinking and fun and weird costumes and just. And yeah. For, for me, it, it was, uh, you know, it starts out on a Friday night and, and, um, I'm immediately co- confronted with, you know, yeah, I'm on vacation, but, I have other people in my company that are working and problems arise and Mm -hmm. it's, it's the room situation. (laughs) Yeah. But meanwhile, I'm supposed to be unplugged. I haven't taken a vacation in years. And so, you know, for for me on a personal level, that was a a challenge um, Mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm trying to like have a good time with, with, with everybody else. And, um, but I, I quickly, you know, I was like, all right, now I'm so far behind. I have no choice, but to just fully embrace the, the party you know, seven days a week mentality. Yeah. Um, it's also a bigger cast, right? So we have 12 people, um, all under one roof, nowhere to go, you know? So there's just, 
it's, it's a little easier to have a little, you know, a self-contained party. And, and, you know, I, a dozen is, is, is a party uh, mm-hmm. in, in a house and lots of different personalities. So there's also, there's more male energy in, in this group than, than summer house. I feel like there's, there's more guys around, which creates a different atmosphere. I think, I mean, like there, I don't know if the ratio is different, but there are more men, there are more, more men on the winter house cast. Yeah. Than summer house cast. No, I was just, I was thinking about it. I was like, yeah, there are, it's, it was like 50, 50. I, I haven't even counted. I haven't yeah, I mean, counted, been some but... summers where I felt like guys were outnumbered like two to one. Oh, uh, for sure. In, in the summer house. Yeah. So, I mean, look, people came there to have a good time. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it definitely created a different energy having more or like an equal number of guys. For sure. Yeah. I, I can, I can, I can tell that off the bat. I think it kind of like, I feel like they almost like pushed us ladies <laughs> to, to like to keep me, drinking, right. like, keep going. You got this. <laughs> totally. Was there, I mean, just considering all that you guys have been through as a couple on five seasons of summer house, was there any hesitation for you guys to take on this extra show and this extra sort of just like, again, like we know these shows are pressure cookers, but, and, and you guys have always dealt with it well, but was there any hesitation for you guys? Or were you like, no, we're doing a spinoff. Let's do it. Why not? It's going to be fun. Well, by the, when you decide to do it, you don't know what, what that's true. You're going to be at it's the first the time. time, you know, day one of filming. <laughs> um, you know, we were what, 12 months into a, a pandemic, working together, living together. And someone said vacation for two weeks. And I said, sign me up. I don't care what, I don't care what it is. I don't care vacation. where we're going. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I think it, it, um, I mean, I was pretty hands-on in, in trying to help kind of bring it to fruition just because I've been going out to Vermont. I knew it was going to be a fun time. Totally. We could shoot it in, 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 in the middle of the pandemic and it wouldn't really take away from the show. So I was really gunning for it for, for quite some time. And when it finally came to, you know, day one, it was like, all right, where are we at? Yeah, just doing <laughs> something different also and being in, you know, colder weather and new friends just made it all that more exciting to do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There is some moment, I don't, I can't really tell exactly what it is, but the trailer teases something, Amanda, you're in tears over something. I don't, what can you tell me about what that, what that entails? I'm going to have to find out when you guys do. Oh, okay. Because those are definitely <laughs> drunk tears. Yeah. In, in a we true don't remember. <laughs> fashion, you know, who knows, who knows what that was pertaining to. Yeah. I have an idea, <laughs> but I can't really tell exactly where I am in that moment. So I'm not a hundred. Is that a, is that a common occurrence for you guys? Like for, for just all the, these casts in general, which is like, you see something in a trailer and you're like, wait, like what, what, the, what, what, what even was that? For more so with other people when like I've been there and I'm like, yeah, yeah I remember that. But I usually know everything that I've done. I'm telling you, Vermont was just a whole new world. Yeah. I mean, I started out with um, very little recollection of, of what happened on night one. I think there was a lot of excitement coming in. I think a lot of us. Will I be, didn't eat. A lot mm. of us will be watching it for the first time with everyone else. And yeah. having just, I feel like you'll have things like just jiggered in your mind of like, okay, <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I forgot about that. I can right. see right when I was going to be in it, right when I met Andrea, the, the first episode, you could see, I'm like, oh, oh there I go. Oh, mm-hmm. now, now you see what I see when see I try later. to call you out. And yeah. you're always like, no, I'm fine. Well, I think I was know, past you know. the I'm fine part. But, All um, right. So you mentioned Andrea and we have three other new people. What are they, what are they going to bring to the crew? What are they going to, do they, do they bring it? Yeah. I mean, they, yeah. they bring it in different kinds of shapes and sizes. Andrea is uh, just a, a, a big personality. Um, the accent, the accent it I was, mean. he's, he's a great, a great addition. He was a lot of fun getting to know. I mean, all of them, they all, mm-hmm. they're very like down to earth, just friendly people that are want to get to know you. And they just seamlessly fit right in. It didn't feel like anyone was struggling. Good. Um, so, and le- you know, they didn't really say too much about it. If they were. <laughs> Maybe the so confessionals were, will say differently. Yeah. yeah. No, they, uh, it was great. We got, I mean, for the most part, everyone got along really well and it was, uh, they were really great people to have in the house with mm-hmm. us. A I, lot of J- fun. Jason was like this, like calm, cool, collected gentleman who could just cook up a meal in the kitchen and feed the house. And- a lot of cooks in the I mean, that's house. what you need. If you're, if you're being locked in a winter house, like that's what you need. That's I good. That's a good every summer. And I don't, I did not, 
I don't think I touched. I actually I touched the stove because I was the only one who knew how to turn it on. But aside from that, I was not doing it. Hey, at least it wasn't broken this time. I mean, yeah, I know. You never know what we're going to get in these rentals. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Um, I mean, so, you know, we have most of the summer house cast there. We know Carl's not there. Danielle's not there. Hannah is not there. Did you miss did you miss having any of the other people? I mean, do you miss not having them around? I mean, I was very thankful. I mean, Carl helped kind of uh, keep things running along with, with Loverboy when we were up in, in, you know, in Vermont. And it would not have been a, a healthy environment for him to be in right. where he was at, you know, on a personal level. And, of course. and we, that's what he and I just kind of recognize. Like, this is, this is going to be a two-week show. And mm-hmm. you're probably going to want to stay away. And oh, by yeah. the way, can you help me? you know, keep the lights on. Right. Right. Exactly. There was so much going on in that house too. It just, it was like constantly go, 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 go. There was never really a moment where we were able to sit and be like, Oh, wow. You know, I, so-and-so is not here. It's yeah. And Danielle was, you know, she, she was, God, she was all over. Like Robert was in Aspen cooking and, um, if they just showed up, I would have been absolutely. Of course. Of course. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I'm assuming that's not true of the, the third person I mentioned, but um, <laughs> we can we can move on after that. Um, all right, so you know, I think the other obviously aspect of this, we have more men around. There's a lot of single women in the cast, and I think you know things also were sort of leaking out, you know, after filming about who got with who, who hooked up with who. Who did you guys expect to get get together in this house? Were, were there any sort of predictions about who might be interested in who? Paige and Andrea. It was the most obvious. Right. Like, there's no first way. night. Yeah. I mean, exactly. she was, he's, a, he's a real Italian man. Yeah. I was like so excited for her. I think you can see it. I'm just wanting this to happen so badly. I'm thrilled. I'm like, yeah, how? she's like br- literally the definition of like bright eyed, bushy tailed. Like she just is like, <laughs> I, I, you, her, see her her you see it in the premiere. It's, it's obvious. Yeah. About her line that like I haven't heard a word he word he said, and, and it doesn't matter what he would say to me, I'd be like, Thank you. I thought yeah, that exactly. was so spot on with how her reaction and behavior was in the moment. And- I would say the rest of the romances, although I'm never surprised by anything truly, um, were not maybe what I would have expected or like the pairings I would have made if you asked I actually me. thought they were gonna go completely yeah. differently than really than how everybody else went. Yeah, absolutely. What did you think was gonna happen, Kyle? Uh don't say too much. I mean I I <laughs> I just thought you know think about this Luke's single Jason's single everyone was single a lot of single for people Craig. except for Julia Craig and Julia, Julia and Craig were the only one and us uh, we're the only four people not single. So there, I mean, it there was, an, it was a free a, for all almost, right. It's been a lot of fun. You got, yeah. You got Austin and, and Lindsay that have a, an interesting history. Yeah. I, I knew with them coming, you know, together under one roof, that was going to be interesting. Um, I also knew that I just had a, had a hunch that Austin would be really into, to Sierra. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think, feel i mean there wasn't really any like sharing it was kind of like once people decided okay like like laid their claim but it does seem that there is something like the the end of the trailer page says there's three men there's three women vying after austin kroll i'm so confused i know we have obviously sierra we see that in the first episode Lindsay, we've seen some of that in the trailer there's somebody else that's involved i don't know i don't know you know there's a love triangle some of some sort it seems I thought he was talking about Madison. Yeah. It, it, oh, got it. That was like somewhat of a, like a, a recurring theme just because he, you know, he popped up. back in February, March, you know, it was still kind of, yeah. kind of a, a fresh wound, if you will. There were some yeah. headlines being made at that time. Yes. Yeah. 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 We, we see the, the tabloid that he sees in the grocery store or whatever, whatever. Um, yeah. well, I, I'm curious keep, for you guys. Keep in mind, we're in the house. There's no, there's no TVs that we're watching. Yeah. And, you no know, connection. Very rarely we'll go into the public, you know, cause, cause we were being very careful with COVID. So he just Everything stumbles is, across is this on social media these days. We could see all the press. Uh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that, that's what I'm, I'm curious for you guys just in general. Like we have the Dumois of the world. We have things that, that, you know, will leak from certain shows and whatnot. Like 
how do you guys react to when, when certain tidbits like maybe get out there or, you know, are sent to you or whatever, like, how do you decide like what to, what to react to? Are, are the group chats going off when certain things like that pop out? Like how, what's, what's the reaction from you guys when, when that stuff gets out? I mean, I think it's a little bit of a, a testament just to the kind of day of age we're in, in the sense that yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot different than filming like the Kardashians 10 years ago where everything is bottled up until it airs. Mm-hmm. You know, there's everything's real time, you know? And so to some extent, I actually think that Bravo's leaned into it a little bit in, in the right way. Um, I mean, anything I see, I just immediately send to Paige. I'm like, did you see this? <laughs> yeah. Regardless of who it's about. Right. Like <laughs> immediately. If, even yeah. if it's like about her, I'm like, oh my God, bro, did you see this? <laughs> but it, it's funny though. So Austin mentioning the tabloid. Yeah was the first time in any of my experiences what they mention them they mention it all okay i'm still talking <laughs> on summer house we've never had that fourth wall come up yeah. in the actual right. episode and this was boom here it is snapshot we're talking about social media so that's that's a little bit of like kind of foreign territory for for our show just because our show kind of started more of like a group of friends and there was less mm-hmm. elements of that well, I, yeah, think it's, 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 it's I think it's a cool. testament to, I think it's a testament to Summerhouse carving out its space in, in the zeitgeist is like that this stuff might end up start, start playing a role in the show and the shows that you guys are in. I mean, I mean, you probably can't com- to comment much on this, but like, I mean, your wedding Paige and Craig, like, like that, that made a huge impact. The picture that was posted from the photo booth, like that kind mm-hmm. of stuff, like we'll, we'll kind of intermingle with the show. And I think it's going to be very interesting as you guys continue on the journey of as a cast you know what i mean yeah yeah Yeah, i mean it's it's i think it makes it more interesting and complex i mean it's it's like southern charm all of a sudden you know the the lines of blurred Mm -hmm. definitely and it's also i think it's just fun to see you guys i mean we all knew like some of the southern charm guys would pop in for a party or two in, in years past and you know we haven't seen you guys on southern charm but I think it's fun to see all you guys like the sort of the younger class of Bravo stars just all together. Like, you know, we, we've seen crossover housewives moments where you're going to see more of those as, as the years go on probably, but to see all you guys kind of crossing over, I think is, you know, I think it's fun because you guys are sort of the future of, of the network in some respects, yeah, you know, I mean, you think of the way that summer house started was a crossover with Vanderpump and right. they've been to the house before, but um, what's, you know, our friendship with the the people on Southern Charm is ex- like an our, you know, mingling on on and off camera is very, very organic, which I think is a is an interesting. That's, twist that's what also. enables. Yeah, that's what enables it. I think Bravo embraced it with, you know, um, the Vanderpump's visiting. Yeah. Uh, Vanderpump's. Um, <laughs> You know, Tom Katie and, and Bo and Stassi. <laughs> Could you imagine? Was that, season, was that season three? I think yeah. they, you know, Bravo embrace it because they're our real friends, you know? Mm-hmm. And, um, and and that's kind of what enabled this to happen, right? It started in season four where they stopped by for my birthday. And now it has kind of continued to, to evolve. And I, I give the credit some, some credit because I think back in the day, there was probably some resistance. Like you that's guys only know each other because you're on shows on the same network. And hey, guess what? That's true. But, yeah. um, it's fun. <laughs> yeah. I, if you were to pick anybody else from like Vanderpump or Southern charm that didn't, that wasn't as part of winter house, who would you want? Who Was there somebody that you well, guys I would have wanted around? I talked to both Toms just cause I thought they'd be a real fun addition. Um, the, you know, Stassi and Bo obviously were, I think expecting, or they, she had just had her baby. Yeah. They're all pregnant. Um, right. <laughs> ironically the toms could not come because they just had started breaking ground on their new bar which we're mm. now seeing unfold on exactly on um you know and chef had just started a new relationship um you know and i think there's somewhat of a limitation with how many people could actually fit under one roof but i mean anyone that can party for two weeks straight and essentially drink all day every single day <laughs> and enjoys the cold is welcome to join us <laughs> And I think that's probably true of most people on either of your three, those three shows, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Kyle, were you, so were you like the recruiter for this? Were you the person that was trying to put this cast together? Well, I, you know, historically I've, I've gone up with a, 
bunch of friends. Usually it's a guy's trip. Yeah. We stay across it's the street from my grandmother's. Always a guy's trip. It's always a guy's trip. <laughs> so um, with COVID and whatnot, we couldn't interact with my family as much as, as I'd like, but both mm-hmm. sides of my family grew up skiing at Stowe. And, um, you know, I love sharing Stowe, you know, with my friends. And, and so that's kind of how it started. And, you know, I started working with the network on kind of getting them familiar with the town and, um, and just trying to explore the opportunity, like, you know, who would be a good fit. And of course, from their end, they want to make it as interesting as possible. So, Hey, let's include some newbies. Yeah. It was also nice to have, you know, Kyle's a big skier and it was nice to have people of all different experiences Levels, right. with, uh, <laughs> snow sports. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we did are, so, I mean, are you going to be dabbling in the, in skiing or snowboarding at, during the, the show? Or are you a snowboarder or a skier? I will say we all got on the mountain. Did we all get down? You're just going to have to wait. We, we send us like a snowmobile out to the top to get people. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Yeah. Okay. We all got up the mountain though. Or on it. Mm-hmm. And Amanda, you know, I think, you know, again, I think we talked about this last time. We had an interview at the end of last season of Summer House. But I do really love watching you and Paige as a duo and, and as friends. And you've obviously been able to cultivate that friendship even further over the past year or so. And like, and obviously Hannah has always been a factor and she's no longer in the summer house realm and she's not on the show. Was it nice to just get time with just you and Paige to, to kind of continue to build your friendship, just you two? Yeah. I mean, I think Paige and I have always kind of had our own version of a friendship, even when there's other people around, it's like when her and I are together, we're able to, you know, build that closer. We also had Sierra there, um, who was single. So you had Paige and Sarah who was single. And I just felt like I was a third wheel to their relationship the whole time. (laughs) Okay. So that's what's going to be. (laughs) What are we doing? (laughs) Who are we hooking up with? Like, how are we feeling? You're getting the tea. Got it. Yeah. She's like, I'd hook up with Andrea. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait. I was like, yeah, I would hook up with him. You totally should. Like, I just felt like the, the cool older mom who's like, okay, girls, like. (laughs) What's the 411? (laughs) I mean, secretly, hey, like I said, we, we want it's fun to have other couples around. And so we're yeah. rooting, we're rooting for the, the romance. Okay. That's good. I, 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 like love, si- I love single page. So you yeah, know, she's no fine. Who else is around single page is one of my favorite pages. So. It seems like she's definitely leaning into that for, for winter house. And, and I also feel like Sierra has like, I mean, she, before this, she had just done one season of summer house. And it feels like she is like really kind of taking it all in and, and leaning really into it in a, in a really great way. It's, it's fun to see already. Yeah. I mean, well, you think she signed up to come to a house with a guy that, you know, she wasn't really sure where they stood and Mm -hmm. locked herself in a house in the Hamptons that she's never (laughs) been to for two months and just had to try to figure it out. Fearless. Um, So I think she definitely knew what to expect. She had friendships in the house coming into Vermont and we really got to see our girl Sierra. Good, good. And then, I mean, finishing it up, we've obviously already also filmed a whole season of Summer House this past summer. We talked about the wedding and how that will probably be the, the finale. But what else can you tell me about this summer? Because I, I I saw some stuff floating around. Lindsay invited me to a couple of parties last night and I couldn't come, which I was very sad about. But what can you tell me about, about Summer House season six? Uh, I will say it is back to the fun, crazy show that we all know and love. Um, We were able to travel back and forth to the city. We were able to have more friends at the house and throw our crazy wild parties. So we were not all stuck together, ready to rip each other's hair out. Um, (laughs) It was just, again, it just felt like a really great group of friends hanging out in the Hamptons together, just enjoying our time with the nice little sprinkle of drama. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it kind of returned to his, its roots. Um, mm-hmm. And it was, a, I mean, it was a ton of fun. We, we were, we were throwing so many parties. I hardly had a chance to hang out and lay out by the pool. I mean, right. literally we, the, the, the big theme parties are back. <laughs> and I, and I, I welcome them back with open arms. It's, I think it's, I, I'm, I'm glad to hear that we're sort of back to, I mean, last season was obviously amazing, but I think we needed some more. 
some more yeah. space. Oh, yeah. Like we literally play. shows to get your drama fixed, especially as it goes dark. <laughs> we went yeah. all out with with these costumes too. Nobody showed up in a bed sheet for a toga party. <laughs> here. And does any? I mean, tying it together, does any of the wind stuff that happens on Winter House? Does any of that percolate and and kind of show up in 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 Summer House? Is there is there any sort of connection between the two that we'll see? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I think that's. Honestly, one of the things that was more complex and it adds layers because normally we go nine months without filming and mm-hmm. so much happens and the audience and you guys are left trying to piece it all together because it's not like we go our separate ways. We are right. an actual functioning, well, <laughs> somewhat functioning group of friends. With Winter House, you get this, this glimpse into what was going on in the off season yeah. and it kind of picks up where it left off to some degree. Yeah. You just get just enough information in between the spring and the fall to fully understand why the hell we're all going crazy. (laughs) Maybe some visitors will come through. I hope so. Um, All right. Well, Kyle and Amanda, it's always really fun to talk to you. I'm so excited for everyone to, I mean, for winter house and I feel like, I feel like I don't even know what's coming. I feel like there's so much that like, either do we. Yeah. I mean, (laughs) yeah, we, Exactly. exactly. Oh, Nobody knows what's coming. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys. I'm sure we'll talk soon. Absolutely. Bye. Thanks, Gibson. Take Bye, care, guys. See ya. Thank you so much for listening. For more celebrity interviews, subscribe to We Should Talk on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. If you like what you heard, please rate and review us as any show of support you can give us would be greatly appreciated. You can follow me at Gibsonoma on Twitter and Instagram, and you can follow In The Know at In The Know on Twitter and at Watch In The Know on Instagram. We'll talk to you next time.